Good morning, viewer. Bien this year. Here's a breaking news. Yes, researchers at UC Irvan have developed an ultra thin bismuth material designed for use in flexible technologies. In a study published in Nature Materials, scientists from the University of California are even described a new method to make very thin crystals of the element bismuth, a process that may aid the manufacturing of cheap flexible electronics or everyday reality. Bismuth has fascinated scientists for over a hundred years due to its low melting point and unique electronic properties, said Xavier Sanchez Yamagishi, assistant professor of physics and astronomy at UC Irvine and co-author of the study. We developed a new method to make very thin crystals of materials such as bismuth and in the process reveal hidden electronic behaviors of the metal's surfaces. The bismuth sheets the team made are only a few nanometers thick. Sanchez Yamagishi explained how theorists have predicted that bismuth contains special electronic states allowing it to become magnetic when electricity flows through it, something essential for quantum electronics devices based on the magnetic spin of electronics. One of the hidden behaviors observed by the team is so-called quantum oscillations originating from the surfaces of the crystals. Quantum oscillation arise from the motion of an electron in a magnetic field, said Lizzy Chen, a PhD candidate in physics and astronomy at UC Irvine and one of the late authors of the paper. If the electron can complete a full orbit around a magnetic field, it can exhibit effects that are important for the performance of electronics. Quantum oscillations were first discovered in Bismarck in the 1930s, but ever never been seen in nanometer thin Bismarck crystals. MOE, a PhD candidate in the physics in Sanchez Yamagishi lab, linked and likened the team's new method to a tortilla press to make the ultra thin sheets of Bismarck. We who explained they had to squeeze bismuth between two hot plates to make the seeds as flat as they are. They had to use molding plates that were perfectly smooth at the atomic level, meaning there are no microscopic diverts or other imperfections on the surface. We then made a kind of quasadilla or panini where the bismuth is the cheesy filling and the tortillas or the atomically flat surface said who. There was the nervous moment where we had spent over a year making this beautiful thin crystals, but we had no idea whether it is electrical properties would be something extraordinary, said Sanchez Yamagishi. But when you cool down the device in our lab, we are amazed to observe quantum oscillations which have not been previously seen in thin bismuth films. Bien exclusive report.